All right, yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7GH. It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying. This is another beautiful day the Almighty God has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. In this video, we are going to look at the new Asamojan Ghana may have found. Yes, um, the new, young, talented Asamojan, just 17 years old as I speak to you. But his exploits, his qualities, and um, what he has done for Ghana so far, playing football, um, is letting a lot of Ghanaians say that indeed he is the next or the new Asamojan for Ghana football. And we are going to talk into details about this player. Who is he and how good is he? Um, and do you agree that indeed he's the new Asamojan or what? Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section of this video. Kobe Menu of Manchester United. He is an English-born Ghanaian. Indeed, he has spoken about Ghana. Um, and we are going to talk to you more about all of those stories in this video. Also, we will look at the African games, the All-African games. It came to an end yesterday, the 23rd of March, 2024. The closing ceremony came on and um, everything is done now. The baton has been handed over to Egypt. Now, we will look at the Ghanaian athletes. How many of them were able to qualify for um, the Olympic Games in Paris, 2024? Um, will any of them qualify for the Olympic Games? We are going to bring you more details on that and some other stories in this video. Do all to subscribe. Of course, the Ghana Black Stars, Ghana versus Uganda on the 26th of of march 2024 so in about two days time the black stars of ghana that is tuesday 26th of march the black stars of ghana will be playing their second international friendly game versus uganda in morocco and we are going to talk to you more about all of those stories and um, the latest news from the black stars camp in this video do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have and it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying kobe menu is a fantastic player for manchester united in the english premier league he is an english born Ghanaian. got his first call up to the senior team of the english um of england that is the three lions yes and he played his first game for the three lions versus brazil international friendly game in fact, England lost. <laughs> they lost 1-0 to Brazil. Hendrik um, scored the goal for Brazil when they lost over, um, when England lost over there. Now, even though he has played a friendly game for England, he is still eligible to play for the Black Stars of Ghana, okay, or to play for Ghana. And this is what Kobe Menu is saying about Ghana. He says that obviously I am proud of my Ghanaian heritage, but playing for England. Is also an amazing opportunity, so I am enjoying it. <laughs> that is what Kobe Menu has said about Ghana and England. So he says he's enjoying play, enjoying playing for England because it is an amazing opportunity. He made his debut for the English Three Lions in a friendly game. And just like I said, he's still eligible to play for Ghana if the need be. But then the need, I'm not sure the need will be. Because if you look at the quality he displayed yesterday versus Brazil, and the quality has he has been displaying in the English Premier League for Manchester United, he is very, very likely to go to the Euros 2024. And if he goes to that competition and plays just one game or five minutes of that game, just a minute of that, any of the, the games, it means that he will not be able to play for Ghana anymore. And that's the situation. And I'm not sure any Ghanaian is actually willing or looking forward to Kobe Menu coming to play for Ghana. Because he will not come. That is the fact. He is just fixated on England as I'm speaking to you. Now, the African Games has come to an end. Okay. Yes, it has already ended. And um, Ghan no Ghanaian athlete qualified for um, the Olympic Games as of now. Okay, so no Ghanaian athlete qualified for Olympic Games, um, according to three sports. Three sports is revealing, and the reason is that you see that the hundred meters like this. Okay, the minute you have to make to qualify for the Olympic Games is ten point zero zero seconds. In fact, seconds, ten point zero zero seconds. Now, um, our 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 athlete who went for the hundred meters was um. 
um a benjamin azamati he made <laughs> more than 10 10 seconds okay the the seconds he made was, or the time he made was more than 10 seconds so he cannot qualify for the olympic games same with, applies to the um the 200 meters also the 200 meters ghana won gold okay but the seconds or the time you have to make um is like 20.16 okay 20.16 and then our athlete who won with gold, um, um, jo Joseph Paul Amwa, he made 20.76. Okay, so it means that he has exceeded the required time you have to make to, to, to qualify for the Olympic Games. So according to the story, the Ghanaian athletes has, um, they have up to, up to, um, june up to june okay to make sure that they qualify for the olympic games by making the right time if they do not make the right time uh, it means that they cannot qualify for the olympic games all those who did high jams um and and all the other disciplines all of them couldn't qualify because they couldn't make the required time for them to qualify for the olympic games that will be coming on in paris and uh, i'm just praying for all of these athletes okay i'm playing for them i'm praying for them because they have to qualify for the olympic games is the biggest um, um competition in terms of um uh, games when you are talking about these games games um you have to be there and i'm hoping that all uh, some of them will be there for us all right good so that is also another news we decided to bring you now let's move on the new asamwe jan <laughs> this player he played for ghana black satellites in the just ended african games and he helped ghana black satellites to win the gold medal in terms of the men's football fixture or football division ghana won gold with the black satellite the ghana under 20 team and he scored a winning goal for ghana let's check out the goal he scored Puma, terrific finish now so that was a fantastic goal scored by jerry <laughs> jerry every that's his name jerry every he's just 17 years old as i speak to you he will be 18 years in the month of march march 2024 he will be 18 years he plays for thoughts full fc thoughts fc um in sunyane in ghana here and he's a quality quality player you heard the, the the commentator outlining his some of his qualities he said a, a fantastic control and a fantastic shot that are two qualities of such a fantastic player jerry um every year who everybody is calling to be part of the next blaster squad and also calling to be or in fact saying that he's going to be the next asamojan because in terms of um composure on the ball he's excellent in terms of techniques um, he's excellent in terms of skill set, ball control, vision, awareness, confidence, power, and ability to orchestrate or provide dynamism on the field of play. He is excellent and he is just very, very young to be having all of these super qualities, okay, as a footballer and indeed some at such a younger age was having all of these qualities so indeed um, it is safe to say that he's the next asamwajan but he can only realize being the next because a lot of players have been called the new asamwajan the next asamwajan and they never became the next asamwajan so he can only realize be becoming the next asamwajan if one he continues the hard work Two, we monitor his progression. It's not that any team, he cannot just go and sign for any team. He cannot just go and sit on the bench at any team. He has to be playing consistently. There should be consistency. There should be development. Development. He just shouldn't be a player that, that, that will go to any big team because he's a quality player. He will just move to any big team and then he will be sitting on the bench and it's not like that. He has to move to a team that is going to get day in, day out playing time. And then he's going to develop and he's going to grow to become a quality player. He scored three goals in the African games and had one assist. He decided the game versus Senegal. Even though he didn't score, but he gave a piercing assist, a fantastic assist to the scorer of the goal. And that ensured that Ghana won the game 1-0 over Senegal in the second, in the semifinals. So, indeed, Jerry Efriye did very well for Black Satellites, Ghana under 20, in the just-ended African Games. And everyone is calling him to be part of the next Black Stars, as well as to be the next Asamojan. And like I'm saying, he has all the qualities to be the next Asamojan. But then it is not just <laughs> easy to become the next Asamojan. Because Asamojan is the top scorer for 
Africa in the FIFA World Cup. He's a top scorer for Ghana. Um, he's a legend of the game. He scored a lot of goals in Europe and the rest. If you want to do that, that is a serious mission to do or a serious job to do. And all hands must be on deck. His managers must be um, must be very, very serious with him. And then to ensure that he makes the right um, career decisions over there. So, Jerry... A free year, such a fantastic player who made his name in a just ended African games, and that is um, worth talking about in this particular video on this channel Sports 7G. So Ghana Black Stars will be taking on the cranes of Uganda on the 26th of March 2024. The Black Stars players trained yesterday. They trained, yes, they trained. <laughs> And um, you see, the day are you training? All the players training, no injuries at camp. Antoine Semenyo, Mohamed Salisu, and all the players training and doing very well to ensure that they win the game versus Uganda. Please, even though it's friendly games, even though a lot of Ghanaians were not mad at Gan Black Stars for, for losing the game versus Nigeria, but you cranes of Uganda, they have to beat them. Uganda, they, they do not have any quality that should scare us. We should be able to beat Uganda and beat them well. We please, we beg you, okay? Please, let's beat Uganda and beat them very, very well. It is important that we win that game for confidence and everything. The latest news I'm hearing from camp is that the DIU is likely to play part in this game. Mohamed Salisu will come into the team and play part in the game. He's been training normally. Um, there is no injury concerns and anything. He's been training normally and is likely to play part in a game versus Uganda. And all the new players also will be playing part in the game versus Uganda. Ibrahim Osman, uh, uh, Fosin Amankwa, Ebenezer Annan, and the rest. All of them will be playing part in this particular game versus Uganda. And uh, you'll see how things go. Raise the blasters all the best. But uh, yesterday too, in the evening, um, <laughs> Joseph John Pezzo, blasters assistant coach, he was dancing. Yes, initiation dance. Yes, he's new at the camp. And so he has to dance some more. So he danced. Yes, as <laughs> assistant coach, who put the pants on, yes. <laughs> and uh, Fatal doubt that the Blasters goalkeeper's trainer, yes. <laughs> also dancing over there. So, it's not easy, it's not easy, yes. <laughs> Fatal Dauda, yes. So, that's how things are, and those are the latest news from the camp of the senior national team, the Ghana Blasters. Thank you very much for staying with us. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.